spoke at the start of the game about who would learn most from last weekend, and I think it's Galway. Uh, certainly, they felt uh, their, in, their full forward line had the beatings of that full back line from Dublin. Last week, we saw goal, goal chances, maybe three or four in the first 10 or 15 minutes that they didn't take. This time round, three goals, three goal, hat trick man, uh, Cahill Mannion, acres of space, but uh, incredible finishes. And at the other side, then we've seen the defensive Galway dropping back. We said last week, or the, uh, before the show, the go to man was, was Mr. Um, Shute inside. All the space that he got in front of him last week has all been closed out. Double There's double. a lot more steel there. There's a lot more hunger there. They're chasing down in packs. And I, I mentioned about Joe Canning. He's come into the fray and he's gelled in within that six forwards as well. And there's a contribution from everybody around the field. But it's been a disaster from Dublin's perspective, you know. I mean, uh, they had goals. They had the penalty opportunities to get themselves back. But it's been a complete disaster. Now they've had to rejig their team. I think Rush going from centre forward back towards yeah, the, the so centre back position again, right? So it's been a nightmare for them. And it's the contribution from mm. uh, that man in the first 11 minutes a hat trick for Carl Mannion, Eddie. Yeah, certainly must go down as a, as a, as a some kind of a record, a 10 minute hat trick. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of it anyway. But you know, as a forward, I think this first uh, goal, I, I, I can't emphasize how good a finish this is. I mean, he, he, he addresses that his man has stepped too far, but he uses the Dublin defender there to, to blind the keeper completely. So he focuses on accuracy as opposed to power and places, tucks it inside the corner net. An absolutely superb finish. Uh, this is another good one again, but uh, I think you look at how far he bounced. Again, he's quick to assess the situation. He bounces that almost on the on the 14 yard line. But I think I would look, I would question Alan Nolan's position a little bit. I think he offered him Mark the corner line, both times so, yeah. and he's very yeah, far yeah. off the line, yeah. so it's hard. This one then is just uh, Paul Shute, unfortunately, a little bit of rustiness has caught him out. And for, for, uh, for Cottle Mannion, what I like about him is he's taking a chance on tipping inside. He breaks onto it lovely. I mean, that's a lovely ball for a corner forward. If you take a chance and cut inside your man, Shute is, is, is caught ball watching. I think the, the wind obviously carried it a little bit further than expected because it missed the rook and it is a, a very tidy finish out. But, uh, you know, as, as, as a forward, I can certainly applaud that. It's a superb, uh, superb hat trick. And yet, Dublin had the chance to get back into it, not once but twice. The first one in particular, the penalty that they got. Uh, take us through that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a high ball inside and um, I think it breaks inside. It's, it's, I think it's Ryan the Warder comes, in, comes inside. Or David Tracy comes inside right, and he gets it right. And the key thing about it is when you see it breaking inside, there's the Galway defender, I think it's Johnny Cohn again. His hands are wrapped around him. Yeah, to me, it's a clear penalty. Right decision by the referee, David Tracy. John, we're going to see so much more of this in the, uh, during the summer. The excitement of it, 1v1, eyes v, uh, the goalkeeper. Stare what, down. Wait, stare down the, the goalkeeper. <laughs> what position are they going to put it in? And he puts it wide. Here, to me, this is not a penalty. I think Ryan Dewar fouls the ball. He actually, if you look at it again, he actually wins the ball. Yes, he cuts inside. Johnny Cohn is there. But watch this. I think he jumps into the tackle and he falls to the ground. And to me, more than anything, was a free out. But yeah, John Hanbury, yeah, John, lucky John to Hanbury escape is lucky, yes. And you'll see him afterwards pointing to the umpire, and the umpire was correct to call the referee. But this is fantastic. I mean, a fantastic save. Look, look, this is brilliant. I know there's been a lot of debate about the 1v1, but if you're going to get a bit of excitement like this, right? Some of them are saying, oh, yeah. there's going to be 90%, 95% success rate. You're going to get a goal. We've seen it here, the but evidence. Not to take away from Colin Callanan, superb save, guessed right. But the contrast is when you look at uh, Cahill Mannion's finishes, using the ground, skidding mm. it along, and, and uh, you know, Paul Ryan there, maybe had he bounced that a little bit more, it might have been more difficult from Callanan. And Callan. that is why go away are in front, and they're well in front at halftime. It's time for us to take a short break now, and details of another great competition here on the Saturday game. We've teamed up with Etihad Airways, the world's leading airline and proud sponsor of the GA Hurling All-Ireland Senior Championship to give you the chance to win a weekend break in Dublin, taking in the Leinster Hurling Final on July 5th. You'll be treated to a two-night break in a four-